Flight director is go for flight. Four. We have left off. Continue to procedure 3.170 post-launch flight operations. Don't you just hate when you run out of juice? Especially right now in the summer when you try to enjoy the outdoors, but you also want to enjoy your tech. Be that your smartphone, your laptop, your Bluetooth speakers, your cameras, whatever it might be, right? Okay, Alex, we get the message. What is this? Well, this is the Aohi Starship and what a fantastic product and what a name, right? 40,000 milliamps. Yep, that's a lot of power. But giving you some extra juice is not the only thing this product can do. It's quite a smart charging station as well, which I'll show you in a bit. It will charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro from zero to 56% in just 30 minutes. Here's my friend, Ron. Ron, what do you think? I don't believe you. You don't believe me? I was actually on holiday recently on vacation and I forgot the charger for my Elmo Max MacBook Pro. And if you're watching this video, it's thanks to the Starship because I edited some of this video whilst on holiday using this to charge my MacBook. I was really panicking, you know, but I was so glad that I brought this with me. Not even kidding, this power bank helped me juice up my MacBook. And not just that, my MacBook is also connected to external storage bits. I carry three of these bad boys, by the way, my Garmin watch and all my family stuff too. Honestly, I couldn't be happier. And if your smartphone supports super fast charging like the S23 Ultra here or the Fold, for example, connecting those devices to the Starship will let you use that fast charging feature too. Just make sure you're using the right cables for it though. Oh, and those lovely cables that you see here, they're nice, right? They're also made by Aohi. They really make some nice stuff, you know? The Starship itself will come with a 140 watt cable, but I also have their creative cable set, which is amazing. By the time you're watching this video, the Starship will probably have just gone live on Kickstarter. And judging by how many people were following this launch, I think the first units will sell like hotcakes. There's a lot of people following them. That number doubled, I think, in the last week. So anyway, I'll leave links down below for you. Okay, Alex, it looks great, but how else would you use one of these things? Well, before I talk about that and answer lots more questions, let me walk you through this design craftsmanship here. I mean, this is such a nice departure from those boring black bricks that I'm used to. I'd be more than happy to display this at my desk as it looks really modern. And if you notice the details on my speakers here, yeah, it fits in like a glove. Very, very sleek. Let's not forget the box that it comes with. They are so creative with their packaging. Check this out. The display looks really cool as well. It's a color LED display. In this area here at the top left, it will show you the current battery level, nice and large. And just under that, it will show you the charging mode. So if you're outdoors, for example, just charging your devices, it will show us power bank mode. And when you have it indoors, perhaps plugged into your computer and other devices, it will go into a charging station mode. The beauty here is that in this mode, the current doesn't pass through the battery, which will preserve the battery life in the long run. And this is really cool when you're actually using it. You can also see how much power is being drawn here in the input and output number. This is really useful actually, because sometimes you might have a cable that doesn't support as much power going through, or a device that doesn't charge fast enough. So it's quite useful to see which device is doing what. Talking of which, the Starship is capable of 140 watts, which is insane. And just to give you an idea, that's the same output that the original Apple charger provides. You know, the one that came with my M1 Max MacBook Pro. And thanks to that power delivered 3.1 here, this means I can easily, in under an hour, get my laptop to about 60% and still have juice left for other devices like my iPad Pro, my S23 Ultra, my Tab S8 Ultra, all of which will have pretty hungry batteries. The other cool thing about the Starship is that it has this light here at the front, which will also tell you how quickly the power bank is charging. This is how his own kind of signature three-stage lighting, and it will show an amber breathing light when he's in fast charging mode, a blue solid light for standard charging mode, and a green solid light when he's in trickle charging mode. Okay, Alex, sounds amazing, but how does it compare with other products in the market? Well, funnily enough, I have been looking at a lot of options for power banks recently, and of course, a lot of this will depend on your own kind of needs, but what I love about the Starship is how, for me, it sits above all of the current options in the market, in my opinion, because of a perfect balance between convenience and power. Yes, there are a few options out there that will have more than 40,000 milliamps capacity, but the trade-off with those is convenience, right? They're heavier and bulkier power banks that won't even be allowed on a plane. And to be honest, they look like you might need to wear one of those suits to operate them. Okay, a little bit of an exaggeration there, but you know what I mean. Not to mention that those larger power banks will take six to eight hours to charge. The Starship in my test, you know, has about an hour to fully charge it. And there are smaller and lighter power banks than this as well, but the trade-off with those is not enough capacity. To give you an idea, some of the most popular choices out there will only give you half of the capacity of the Starship, but will take up to 10 hours to fully charge as well, and it will take two hours to charge your phone. So that's what I meant really by saying the Starship is the perfect balance between power and convenience. Here's some questions that I had when I was looking for a power bank and also whilst using this power bank, and I think you might have these questions as well. The first one I had was, how long does it take to charge the Starship? And what I found is that this will depend on how you're charging it. If you're using something like Aohi's own 140 watt power brick, I wanna say less than an hour, but about an hour, it does charge up super fast. Another question or concern that you might have is how hot does it get when it's in use? The warmest I've seen it get was in charging station mode, but really nothing that would worry me. When I was charging the Starship itself using the 140 watt power brick, it did get a little bit warm, but nothing alarming 
charming as you can see here. I love saying star shit, by the way, you know, what a name. Another question I had is how heavy is it, right? It weighs about 900 grams, which is quite a comfortable weight really to hold it and put it in your bag. It's about two pounds. But I'll tell you something that I experienced myself, which I thought was really cool. In a trip where you might be camping and not have access to a lot of power, and you just want to be able to power some speakers or a laptop, this kind of negates the need for those heavier boxes, you know, the ones that you carry with you. I have one of those as well, which includes like a solar panel to charge itself as well and everything, but you can't put those in your backpack. Which brings me to a question that I had as well, which was how well does this Starship fit in your backpack? And the answer is fairly easy actually. And if your backpack has a little opening for cable, this can be super handy too if you're on the move for a couple of days or a long weekend. I found it super convenient to have this in the bag. Does it work with Android tablets and smartphones? Yes, no issue with compatibility there. It will charge Apple or Android devices at the same time. As long as you're using the right cables, you'll charge any device really quickly. What about other wireless chargers? Can I daisy chain sort of thing, you know, put another wireless charger connected to this? You absolutely can. I'm not sure if it's the safest thing to do, but I have this MagSafe charger here at my desk and I connected that to it. And I have an Apple MagSafe charger as well at home too, and that worked as well, no problems at all. And YouTube has a little feature now where I can link shorts to long form content. So to make this a little bit more interactive, I'm going to be doing a couple of short videos about the Starship featuring your questions. So please ask away down below in the comments and I'll try and feature your question in my next short video. An important question is where can you get one of these? There's a link in the description or if you're watching this on a TV, just pause the video here, scan the QR code and that will take you to the same page. I think they're still running a launch promotion right now on Kickstarter, so it's likely to be cheaper now before it goes on sale on their website for the wider public. Now, if you really want to complete the charging set and have the best of the best experience, this entire setup becomes a powerhouse. See what I did there? When you use a GAN charger, like this wall charger, which itself has three ports from our heat itself and it's 140 watts as well. Because it's 140 watts, it's perfect not only for charging the Starship itself, but for charging your devices again super quickly. I was actually quite impressed. For something that's got 40,000 milliamps, it's actually extremely quick to charge it up. And look, for me, this really sets itself apart from others in how much power you can store here. Most power banks of this size will go to 20,000, 25,000 milliamps and will give you enough to charge your devices for a day, maybe two. But the Starship will give you that extra peace of mind, which when you're on a vacation or a long weekend somewhere, peace of mind is exactly what you want. All the links, like I said, are in the description or pause the video now to scan the QR code here if you're watching this from a TV. See you soon. T minus 15 seconds. T to procedure 3.170 post-launch flight operations. Max Q.